week number one for our NFL franchise went remarkably well. We had a pretty nice W, and then we sim week two, which keep in mind, if you're new to this series, new to this channel, we do sim a couple of things here and there for competitive balance. So week one went great. Big W, lots of cool things. Week two, however, we lost by seven points to the Buffalo Bills. I'm not happy about that. But in week three, we are going to be facing the Philadelphia Eagles, and Fletcher Cox is a guy that we have to worry about. We're going to commit to slowing him down. I don't really think, even at like 32, 33 years of age, we can fully stop him. So he says, don't worry, coach. We can take advantage of his aggressiveness with outside runs. Uh, we do that. I really feel like we can score on the ground. Something to keep in mind. I'll probably forget about it, but outside zone runs, we're going to try him. I've also pulled in another draft class. A lot of you guys were asking about, did I edit the draft class? I might change it. And I've answered a zillion comments on that, but keep in mind, the draft classes are from the Associated Fictional Draft Classes done by OperationSports.com. This is number six, I believe, of that draft class. All these people, again, I have no idea what the ratings are going to be. We're going to test them all out. Uh, okay, we got a guy we can watch. I know we don't really need receivers, and you guys are going to yell at me for marking a receiver priority after the whole Chris Sapp thing, but don't worry. I'll probably pass on him and take somebody else. From a draft pick standpoint, though, we have a first rounder. We have two second rounders, three, or sorry, two third rounders, the fourth, the sixth, and the seventh. The fifth rounder gone, but we got double elsewhere. That's not bad. The guy that I'm targeting early right now, though, is Sean Davis. He's a 6'2", 240 pound, all muscle, real class athlete out of the University of Washington. Good overall stats. I doubt we have a draft pick to really grab him unless we make a move at some time, but we can always dream, right? We also have two big guys to go ahead and upgrade. We have Elliot Westfield, our right guard. Again, an integral part of our team. Pass protector, agile, or power. I'm going agile here. It's our scheme fit. He's now an 81 overall. He gets a plus one of finesse uh, for pass block and run block, and then gets plus two to his strength. We also have Jalen Williams. Again, a corner that we're banking a lot on here. A man-to-man -man slot or zone. I'm actually going to put this to slot because I play, I'm sorry, to zone. I put a lot more zone than I probably do anything else right now. Plus one to awareness of speed and plus two to zone coverage. I'm here for it. And with the new season comes new contracts to negotiate. The Ron Payne, a very, very important part of our team, wants to negotiate. He's still 26 years of age. He's still dumb young. We have 88 million in cap space. Easy. We'll make him an offer. Let's see if he refuses or takes it. I imagine he wants more money. Just kidding. We got him really easy. A guy we could not sign last year and ultimately had a franchise tag him was Mr. Jonathan Allen. He's incredibly important to this franchise. He's only 28 years of age. A three-year deal, I think, is still perfectly fine for him. I'm going to bump him up to $7 million. He didn't like what we had last time. We'll offer him this contract. He wants more money. We may have to trade him. Player a lot of you guys know that we don't really have a need for right now is Jordan Reese. I'm offering up Jordan Reed, a fourth rounder, uh, for Dillard and... Okra Fort? I don't even know how to say that. We're going to try to make that trade for a guy's name I can't pronounce. We ended up getting it, and let me show you why I wanted to make that. Reason one, we have an injury in the offensive line, so I might put that left tackle in at center to just be there for a couple of weeks because we're weak there. The other reason is that we're trading Ryan Shazier. I love him. I'm a Steelers fan, and I hope he comes back in the NFL, or at least if he doesn't, he's just living the best possible life with the best possible health. But right now, that $13 million cap hit is... I can't roll with this. So we're going to trade Shazier to the Giants, trying to get their number one overall draft pick. We're closer than I thought. We can make this work. They just so happen to have a lot of cap space, and we just so happen to have a right tackle, which is what they need in Morgan Moses. Remember that left tackle we just got? Now you know where he's going to play. So the trade straight up, they would not take. We ended up doing Shazier, Morgan Moses, and our third round draft pick this year. The second of the third round draft picks, as we had two, remember, uh, for the Giants draft pick. And as you can tell, they're slated to have a top three pick is what it's looking at early in the year. That's important because remember, a lot of good talent in this draft want to make a play for one of them. But all that brings me back to Diller. That was a really long way to go around there. He's a good middle linebacker. I think he had a star development trade, which is great news. Only been in the league two years. He's a development. He's a project. We have a guy in Ruben Foster who will be starting over him, but 84 speed, 87 tackle, 76 block shed, 83 acceleration, 78 pursuit. There's a lot to love with this guy. Power moves suck, finesse moves suck, can't cover in man. I get it. But overall, this dude should be a pretty good player for our team in the long term. With all of those moves, all that management out of the way, we are finally getting to the on the field acts. Remember, we're really, really close to 200,000 subs in this channel. If you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? Join the Varsity Club, subscribe, and maybe just maybe you'll wake up tomorrow seven feet tall. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. 
So we're coming out on defense first. Again, Ruben Foster is the main guy. They were defense. Shazier is now gone. We're going to see what our team can ultimately do without our starting middle linebacker. And okay, we're giving up a pass across the middle. Imagine that. A lot of you guys have asked in the comments down below if we're playing the Columbus Explorers this season. Unfortunately, no, they're not on our calendar. But if we ever get a chance to play them, I would love to make that happen. And I believe I checked when I was looking at the scoreboard, but I think they're 2-0 right now on the year. So... We'll see if we ever meet them in the playoffs, if we can ever get that far. But the way the Eagles are throwing on us is not looking good. We sat back a little bit too much right now. We're going to try to blitz Carson, see if we can get him a little off his kilter. And oh my God, the RPO action is real. All right, I think it's safe to say that we have literally no idea how to stop him at the moment. First and 10, though, they're getting close to the red zone. I'm a little nervous. Ooh, watching the halfback. We got him. Okay, he picked up a lot of yards. And I can promise you guys we are in the same difficulty, the same sliders as week one. Madden's just weird about how it actually enforces the difficulty. And this running back is killing us too. Things are looking a little dicey at the moment. We're trying to get a little bit of pressure again on Carson Wentz. Oh, beautiful. We timed that beautifully there. Good tackle there, or good sack there by Foster. And Foster's been a monster so far. He has three tackles here in the first drive. Kind of crazy. Sit it back in coverage again. Watching those deep routes. So they want to go underneath. By all means, go for it. Big third and ten. We're gonna play. We're gonna play the markers here. I'm gonna chill with Boston. Oh my god, that was almost picked by the rookie. Wait. No. We just signed Jonathan Allen to a deal when he got hurt. <laughs> not like this. Alright, that's not good news. Him getting hurt has me a little angry at the moment, but we'll see what we can do. Fourth and ten. They're trying to get a field goal. We have no pressure off the edge. That one is down the middle, and we held him to a field goal. That's good news. But Jonathan Allen getting hurt, not happy about that at all. all right, we got good news. It is actually only an elbow sprain uh, for Jonathan Allen, so he'll be back pretty soon. Our running back is out here again. Ashley Lucas has the next factor. A lot of you guys pointed it out. We're not going to start Bryce Love just yet. That being said, though, I do want to play Bryce Love a little bit more than we have been so far. But Lindley right there in a little bit of a slant route. Haskins all the time in the world. Beautiful move. And what a pickup after getting drilled on that play. And a lot of movement there after the second week of the season. But I really think that we found a lot of our guys that can dominate. If I stop throwing passes like that. That's Terry McLaurin out here at quarterback. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're going to try it. The guy in motion. A little bit of a counterattack. And McLaurin's out here in the edge. Okay, young fella. I doubted you. The spin move. Okay, Terry, I see you, buddy. You could argue that went way better than I thought it was going to go. Like, I, I thought maybe a couple of positive yards. Instead, we went for almost a 30. Pass across the middle here. We got our new tight end. Looking pretty solid. I mean, not new tight end in terms of, like, acquiring him. We've had Mr. DeAndre Bryant. He's just now our starter. Haskins again in the pocket. Feels the pressure. Dear God, that was supposed to be a throwaway. I don't want to talk about that ever again. So now we're having second to go from the 21 yard line. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's what you wanted to see. Oh my God, we got him. What a catch. There we go. Third and goal now, reasonably from the eight. Big play. We got Samson in the game. He's been really good in the red zone so far this season. But Hardman there. I like this. I like this a lot. We had him, we just threw it inaccurately and field goal time. Now right, we're gonna line up, should be an easy one. We miss it, he's fired. Luckily he made it, he steals the job. Oh, they got the ball back, they didn't do anything with it, but their punt pinned us at the four. <laughs> Honestly, you hate to see it. Let's see what we can do here. Linebacker steps up, Lily's got some room to move and gets us down to the 25, solid game. Again, I know a lot of you guys are in love with Chris Sampson. You won't stop talking about him. All the comments were Chris Sampson. Trade for him. I can't trade for him. He's an 84 overall rookie receiver. That's almost next to impossible. We got a deep pass here. And, well, Chris Sampson wouldn't have caught that. Dear God, that's going to be a meme now, isn't it? Chris Sampson would have caught that. I hate you. All right, second and ten. Six and a half minutes left. Got our guide in the middle of the field. Good move. Good play. We have definitely neglected the running game, so we're going to go back to it again. Ashley Lucas, back and healthy. Trying to keep him that way if we possibly can. And a solid run up the middle for about four or five. Second now, five to go. 
Askins back to the play action. Dear God, we had no chance. Fletcher Cox is back. I mean, <laughs> the dude was running 100 miles an hour. We got to get 20 yards to get him out of his zone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's wide open. Keep running. Samson, he's so good. He is so good at getting open down the middle. All right. So, Fletcher Cox is out of his X Factor. That's great news right now. Inside almost the red zone. We'll run up the middle. Ashley Lucas. He just feels slow to me. For some reason. I don't know. He just feels slow. Got Bryce Love in the game. That typically means we're going to a passing game. Got Bryce Love wide open. Bryce Love making some moves. And ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Love in the end zone. You saw it coming, didn't you? If you follow my channel for a long time, you probably remember the Jet series I had from about two, maybe even three years ago. It's been a long time, but Bryce Love was a huge part of that series. So the fact that we just naturally got him back is... Out of destiny. Can we tackle that man? All right, Dillard's in the game. Our young rookie linebacker. He looks like he's about five foot three and about twelve pounds. Going out to the edge. Oh, what a tackle in the open field. Okay, I like that. Second and nine. I'm gonna get a little bit of pressure on Wentz, or at least try to. Oh my God, Ruben Foster is a monster. Oh my God. Third and ten. I don't want them to have any real chance here. We're gonna try to put a little bit of pressure with Montez Sweat off the edge. A little late on that. Why did I run cover four? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Arson has actually only thrown one incompletion. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of tough to stop the Eagles right now on offense when he's passing as well. Oh my God, right off the edge, Montez. I like that. Oh, they're in the hurry up. We're gonna actually switch to cover four. No way, he caught that? I'm blown away. Allison had a big grab right there. I can't believe we gave that up. Oh my God, the pressure! Ronald Darby, what a play! Speaking of Ronald Darby, one of you in the comments told me that was your cousin. Tell him I said, hey. All right, fourth and one, minute 14. This one, just as good as the other one. Barely makes it by about seven or eight yards, but McManus gets it to go, and the lead is down to four. We have a minute and some change right now. I would love to get some points aboard. Even a field goal, honestly, is like perfectly acceptable right here. Haskins, though, has to be on point. He struggled a little bit on that previous drive. Nice move again. We'll take Hardman down the middle. 45 seconds left. We're at the mid part of the field. Askin steps up. He's got his guy going deep. He finds him. And look at that. Use the timeout. Can't take him with you. Last time we tried to screenplay, it worked out really well. This time it's Lucas, though, and not Bryce Love. From the 22. This is not looking ideal at all. Let's use that timeout again. All right, we got to find something big here. Hardman there, Samson here. I'll take it. Oh, my God. He, he split the coverage. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We run a play, I think. I waited until about six seconds to call the timeout because I panicked. So we're going to try to go for a quick play. Hopefully it works. And if we don't get it, we'll try to kick a field goal. I'm hoping we can get this to work, though. It's a little risky. Got to go for the quick one. Kick the field goal. Kick the field goal. Kick the field goal. All right, we're playing it safe. <laughs> I want to go for the touchdown still, but we'll play it safe. We'll take the three points. Our lead back to seven. We're going into halftime feeling okay. Offensively, we've had some good moments, had some bad moments, but for the most part, we've been okay. The good news is we do get the ball at the start of the second half, so we try to right some of those wrongs we had there as we close out that first half. I'm a little late on this one, but the big fella, he can catch. We have not gone to Lindley in a while, and I would like to go back to him. We just got to find him open, if at all possible. And guess what? Sometimes just speaking into existence. Nice grab. A little too pass happy. Got to go back to the run, but they have a lot of people in the box right now. Good movement, but he had nowhere to run. Second down and nine here. Ooh, a lot of pressure. Beautiful route here. Left that man in his dust. He's so good. So good. Five grabs so far today for Mario Lindley, and every single one of them has been impressive. I will take that. Go outside run. We're trying to run. Looking for some blocking. Blocking appears to be optional on this play. We lost two yards. All right, we got second down and 12. Cross your fingers. I had Samson wide open, and I didn't see him at all. So that puts us at third down and 12. Uh, we got Lindley back in the game, which is good. We're going to put him there. Hardman, we're going to put him there. We got Bryce Love in the game. 
Could be a little check down if we need to. Oh, no. Lesser Cox. Three sacks today. Field goal time it is. I can't believe we've just let him demolish us like that. This field goal should be money again right down the middle. Extended our lead to 10 points. It's not pretty. It's not amazing. We're getting the job done. Picking up here on defense. The Eagles have moved the ball a little bit. They're down to the 43-yard line. Lots of pressure in the backfield, but that was a perfectly called run, and we had nothing to stop it. Carson Wins is carving us up right now, but they have not a single touchdown to stand for. They only have two field goals, so our defense is locked up in the red zone. Back to the running game. We're struggling with that so much, and we made it worse by getting a penalty right here. They're accepting that one. Try to run a little bump and run coverage here. See what we can get. Almost in the red zone again. They're going right back to the run. We're trying to fill the gaps a little bit. We messed up, and oh my god, that little fella's running. Another one! Hello, team. Discipline. Discipline. Have some of it. This is not good right now. We have given them an insane amount of free yards. This is not good. You don't want to do that. First to go from the seven. Wentz under center now. Haven't really seen that a ton today. Plug in the middle. Ruben Foster in the tackle again. The key here is just... <laughs> Honestly, putting pressure on him. Got Dillard in the game. Going to try to blitz with him. Maybe get his first career sack as a member of the Marshals. Not looking likely here. They throw an underneath route. We sat too far back in Ertz. First touchdown of the day for Philadelphia. The pressure is definitely on us right now. We have the lead, but not by a lot. So we've got to step it up and got to do it soon. Oh, my God. We had him so long. And we waited way too long to get that to him. Got to do a better job of finding guys open when they're running the route and they're actually at their most open spot instead of just kind of sitting on a, a route that's not open for too long. What are we doing? That was a horrible play. Speaking of sitting on a route, we did it just right there. Here we go. An opportunity to try to stop them, but they can at worst tie it up right here. Big play. Is that Carl Nassib off the end? Let's go. Just kidding. That was Montez Sweat. Good play though all around. Got to love that. Second and 12. Oh my God. You have to be killing me. Ertz again. Inside the 15. Things are getting just unbelievably difficult right now. These little running backs are killing me and they are falling forward. They're on the four. All right. This is it. Defense, you've done so well all game long. Do it right here. No, get it, pick it. Ah, I needed it. It was the weirdest game of hot potato I think I've ever seen. We're pinching the line and just praying we can stop them on the run if they go. Play action will probably kill me right now. No, you've got to play that. Just like that, Philadelphia, back-to-back -back drives. They've taken the lead. We are going to have growing pains, and we're definitely going through them right now. We're a young team. We're fine, but good Lord, this is a little tough. The running game has been nowhere all game long, too, and Philadelphia is stopping in every which way. So going into the fourth quarter, I'm going to block Lucas here. Yeah, I'm going to keep him in the block and hope we can get a little bit lucky. Fletcher Cox has been a problem, so we're going to try to avoid him, go with the dinks and dunks, and just convert first downs where we can. I can't help but also think if we had gotten that touchdown to be at the end of the first half, it would have made such a big difference right now. But instead, we didn't, and well, here we are. Third and three. We're going to risk it. What a grab. What a grab. Did we have other people open? Yeah, for sure. Did we get the first down? Yeah, for sure. First and 10. Play action. Don't pick it. My heart. You've got to get Lucas going. If not, maybe we bring in Bryce Love. I don't know. Second and 10. I mean, can we block? 70, what are you doing, big fella? Here we are, third down, 16 yards to go. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one. Obviously watching the middle. Got our tight end there. Big fella with the hands. My heart. We tried a Wildcat earlier with McLaurin, and it worked really well. I'm going to try Samson back there, see if we get similar results. Oh, dear God. I try to... <laughs> I don't know what I try to do. It was Roderick and DJ in there, and that dude was not having anything that we wanted. I respect it. Second down, 17 yards to go. 
honestly, Haskins, pick up some yards, big fella. Don't fumble. Dear God, he did. We were out of bounds, though. I'm not, like, adverse to getting a field goal here. I'm okay with that. I want a touchdown, obviously, but I'll take a field goal for sure. Haskins! You are making too much money to throw that incomplete. All right, apparently I spoke it into existence, so field goal should be money. Got enough distance on it. We do. We're down one. Defense, lock up. Offense, do better. Get a touchdown. I don't know how we're going to do better, but <laughs> I believe in the thing called love. There we go. Good identification there. I'm imagining they're going to run a decent amount, so we're going to pinch that line quite a bit. Watch it for the run again. They go for it. Oh, my God. An arm tackle saved us. Okay, big play. Big play. I'm dropping Nasset back in the coverage. We got to fill all the gaps we possibly can right now. No. Oh, he dropped it. Defense, let's go. I can't believe that was like the quickest drive of all time. We locked up. They're punting it. Things are looking okay at the moment. Oh, my God. That's the shortest punt ever. Did we even field it? D wh huh? What? Good Lord. All right, all right. Yo, I like Lindley on that outside coverage of that safety bites. <laughs> I got to get rid of it earlier. What am I doing? I'm playing at a time. We don't need anything major here. We just... <laughs> we got to get something, okay? Help. I'm putting uh, Brian on the street, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Just how we drew it up. Get there, get there. Nice play. All we need is a field goal. That's all we need. I mean, obviously, I want a touchdown, but let's take a field goal, too. I'm putting Lindley getting in the streak. They got a they gotta bite on one of those, you know? Might be able to do it. Haskins under center. That was risky. It did not pay off. We actually put in Bryce Love as the starter, and now he's out. So we'll see what happens on second and 10. Because we're running a halfback screen. Oh, my God. He actually caught that. Use your blockers, young fella. Oh, my God, Lucas. Okay, you can come back in the game anytime you want now. Okay. Okay. That takes to the two-minute warning. We're in field goal territory. It's a 51-yarder right now, so we got we to gotta chill a little bit. Don't fumble. Don't turn it over. Just play smart right here. Second down, seven yards to go. Mm, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Let's your playmakers get out there and make some plays. All right, we're in field goal territory. Easy money here, but we need a touchdown. We need one. Okay. Biggest play of the game right here. Third and four. Yo, they're actually in bump and run coverage. Uh, curl route. Can I make him go smart route? Yeah, yeah, yo, that might actually work. You sit off of him. Oh, my God, Lindley. Lindley! I gotta be honest, smartest play I've ever made so far this season in Madden. What a what a route, okay? What a play call. Bry I'm sorry, Bryce Love. I messed that up for you. This could be a big win. 12-yard line, second and seven. Bryce Love still in the game. A little halfback toss for him. <sighs> we have no blocking on the edge whatsoever. Zip, we're wasting the clock down a little bit. I'm putting a Lindley on a slant. I'm going to put Samson on a slant, and we're just going to pray to Tom Cruise this works out. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, my God. I had the biggest case of lemon booty right there. Okay. Honestly, on a little audible here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. My heart. My heart. I thought he got picked. I thought he got picked. Then I thought he got dislodged. Mario Lindley is the best receiver in the NFL. Okay, maybe that was a little aggressive. Maybe not the entire NFL, but he's pretty darn good if you ask me. All right, two point conversion coming up. Oh, what a play. Oh my God. Touchdown wins it for him. All right, we're dropping literally everybody back. They have no timeouts. We should be okay. But I'm nervous. 
Ruben Foster says, I don't care about your timeouts, buddy. We're out here. What a play. Defensive player of the game. Maybe the player of the game. Ruben. It's Gerald Foster. I don't know what your middle name is. Thank you. What a play. What a game. The Eagles had us on the ropes. But guess what, buddy? I was, I was out there fighting. Recapping the game offensively. Dwayne Haskins bought out today. I'm happy. The turnover was bad. That's all my fault. But 23 to 33, 383 yards passing, two touchdowns and a pick. It's a heck of a game. Carson Wentz didn't throw it a lot, but he was pretty efficient. Two touchdowns, one pick. He didn't get the job done, though. On the ground, Alex Collins, nine for 26. Ashley Lucas, seven for 17. Orlando Burton had 35. Bryce Love had four. There was not a lot of running yards to be had today. Our most successful guy carried it one time, and he's a receiver. And in the air, Mario Lindley was a dog today. Eight catches, 107 yards, one touchdown. DeAndre Bryant, five for 91. He balled out today in the absence of our dearly departed, not dearly departed, but Jordan Reed is gone. We traded him, okay, he's out of here. Uh, McCall Hardman, four for 81. I mean, Allison was killing us early on, but then we shut him out. Samson, three for 71. Bryce Love had a touchdown today. You gotta love how the team played. They persevered. And the guy that got the job done today was Ruben Foster. Eight total tackles, one sack, one interception that sealed the absolute game. Uh, Ronald Darby, seven tackles for him. Marcus Sharp, a guy that I actually wanted to draft earlier in the series when we played for the Columbus Explorers, but we didn't get him. He's out here killing it. Fletcher Cox, though, four sacks today. He was eaten. That was a wild game, and I honestly, I'm still taking it back to be one that the Eagles are not your typical 0-3 team. They are very good. But we beat him, so that's all that really matters. We moved to two and one, but after the game, our offensive coordinator says, "Great win, coach. Fletcher Cox is an absolute beast, and it's always awesome to come away with a win against the Eagles." Honestly, I agree. Five hundred experience for offensive line, which is great news. But even better news again is getting that W and being two and one. This is a challenging, challenging schedule. We got a bye week for week four. Week five will skip because it's against the Giants again. We'll be back for week six in the next episode. The Cowboys gonna be tough the good news is we're playing at home the bad news is they're a lot better than us right now